Benedict Hatch on the right and his crew are approaching another shipwreck, an old sunken submarine. They scan it using sonar equipment. We're now moving over the wreck, along the submarine's hull. There are probably about 5,000 wrecks in Polish waters. And we only know about 20% of the area of seafloor that belongs to Poland. With 80% of the seafloor unexplored, thousands of shipwrecks could be releasing toxic chemicals. Most of the wrecks are from World War II. One of the most toxic wrecks was discovered by Benedict Hatch. The Stuttgart was once an upscale passenger steamship before being repurposed into a hospital ship in Hitler's Navy. It sank in 1943 after being struck by American forces. Ships and shipwrecks deteriorate too. The structure breaks apart. This sonar image shows the Stuttgart shipwreck and how it's turned into a field of debris on the seafloor. But the really frightening thing is what Benedict Hatch found surrounding the ship. The researchers took samples of the seafloor and brought them back up to the surface. This dredging equipment is dripping with a black sticky substance, oil from the Stuttgart shipwreck. The oil is heavier than water, preventing it from floating to the surface. Instead, it's been seeping into the ground for decades. Ooh, wow. We're on the verge of an ecological disaster. The team found over 400,000 square meters of the seafloor to be contaminated with fuel. That's the equivalent of about 40 soccer pitches. The 80-year-old fuel shows up on the surface as a trail of oil. It's just a question of time before it washes up on beaches. I've spent many years of my life there. I've often gone for walks on the beach with my wife, too. And when our granddaughter comes to visit, we like to take her to the beach. It would be an irreplaceable loss if we couldn't go there anymore. The shipwreck explorer and his crew can't recover the toxic war debris. It's not clear who's even responsible for such a task, which would cost millions. Most of the ships sunk in Polish territorial waters were German. Other countries along the Baltic Sea, like Finland, Sweden and Germany, have retrieved individual wrecks from their own territorial waters. But Poland hasn't. Benedict Hatch says there's a lack of know-how and so far, no one has taken the initiative. There's this bad joke. People say you don't have to fry the fish from here in oil anymore, because they already contain oil. Most people only see water when they look out to sea. Benedict Hatch has made it his mission to show what lies beneath the surface.